Hey guys, I want to jump right into it and I want to show you how to audition presets and how to audition cabs. The auditioning part is a little different on the cabinets uh, in relation to XFX2, X8, uh, going over to XFX3 and the FM3. Uh, but everything here applies to, to XFX3 and FM3 for what I'm going to show you. So let's jump over to FM3. If you have XFX3, it's the same thing. So we're going to really focus on auditioning before you import them into the XFX3 or the FM3. I really just want to hear stuff before I pull it in and commit. Got to be careful before you commit. All right, first thing you want to do is hit Tools, Manage Presets. Then you want to come over to the left. You want to hit the browser and hit Show Hide. Next thing you want to do is hit Open Directory. You can leave these checked. Choose Folder. And I'm going to come over here to my directory. Yours may look different, obviously. Presets. FM3, and I'm going to open that directory there. It says it found five presets. That's good. So we're going to hit OK. Now it shows these five presets. I'm currently on this Bogner one. So, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to play a little bit. Then I'm going to come over and I'm going to double click this first one. Wait a second. They're very similar, but it is different. Double click, wait a minute. Double click the next one. So obviously you see where I'm going here. Ooh, that sounds bad. All right, so you get the point. So what if I had a big directory, I'm trying to go through and play these and I want to mark things as favorites. Well, it's pretty easy to do that. You just highlight one of, the, one of the ones you want for a favorite and just press the space bar. Highlight the last one if I want. So I like those two. Say you had a huge directory and your favorited things that were way back in the list, you know, you want to wait so you can filter that. So it's really easy. Just go back up to this browser, click show only favorites. Now you've got just your favorites there. You can audition them more by clicking them. Uh, the other thing you can do is something called auto edition. It really helps out if you got your hands full and you just want to single click. I don't find double clicking that much harder. So, you know, but you can just highlight and go back and forth. So that's that. And then when you want to bring them over and write them to the XFX or the FM3, all you got to do is, you know, shift click this or command click if it was command clicked. Command click, control click, PC or Mac, right? Drag and drop over here. And it's ready to save. It shows it with the dot and the red. So that's how you audition presets. Really easy. Now let's do, let's go over to cabs because this one's a little different. So I'm going to close this out. It's real important you do these first steps before you open up manage cabs. Otherwise, you'll just get confused. So auditioning cabs uses something called scratch pads. And you've got a number of slots for scratch pads. It's just like temporary memory space to, so it puts it in there so you can audition it. Um, so we're gonna click cab. The first thing you wanna do is wherever you wanna audition this cab, I'm gonna mute this guy for now. I've just got a single cab over here and it's panned straight up and down. Now I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna click this right here, click scratch pad. It's some reason it defaults to 16. We're gonna make it easy. I'm gonna go to scratch pad one. So now we got scratch pad one. You can see there's already something in there. You know what, let's go to scratch pad three since there's nothing and I don't want to confuse us. So we're going to do scratch pad three and then I'm going to show you uh, doing two cabinets panned and we can go from there. All right, so now I've got the scratch pad picked. We're going to go to tools, manage caps. So we want to open directory. So I'm going to open up some York Audio IRs. Click in IRs here. We're just going to open up this default directory so manage cabs will actually convert. You don't have to use Cab Lab. I mean, I've used that in the past. If you want to do a bunch of them, that's okay, but it'll do it right here in the software. We're going to go into 48K. We're going to just do make it easy and do raw singles. Uh, let's just do H30 singles. Open up this directory. 30 cabs found. All right, so that gives us a good list here. So now I'm in scratch pad three. So you need to make sure that you audition to the scratch pad that you picked in the earlier screen on the cab block. So we picked cap three, scratch pad three, and I'm gonna go ahead, there's nothing in there right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and click, let's just try the 57 first. Double click. Pretty 
pretty bright. I like 57-121 combinations most of the time, but it doesn't really matter. Just get in here and just play around. Um, we're going to leave it right here, 57-2. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. What if I want, now I've got this in the scratch pad. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select scratch pad. We're going to do scratch pad 4. Don't forget to set this to scratch pad 4. Same thing, auto audition, I can just single click them. Slight differences, right? And then favoriting applies the same way, right? Come in here. I like this one. I like this guy. All that good stuff, right? Come in here, show only favorites, shift click drag them over here, put them in the right slots, save, and then you're ready to go. Important thing, right? Let's just save these just, just to save them, right? So I've got these saved. Now when you come back to your preset, it's gonna still be stuck on scratch pad and don't get confused. So now you're like, well, what happened? That wasn't the ones that I picked. Just drop this box down, hit user, user. And then what you wanna do is go over and you still need to pick the one that you just saved. So I'm gonna filter by user. Here's the two. Let's do 57. And then I'm going to go over here and pick that 121. You can also favorite things in here, put them, you know, filter by color, all that good stuff. So now we've got 64 and 63, both pan left and right, and it's going to be what we picked earlier. As always, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you know when I put out content. Leave me a comment. Let me know if this helped you out. And you guys have a good week.